Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today's topic is humectant. So humectant, humectants are the additives that bind waters and control water activity. The rates of degradation due to microbial action increases with the higher water activities, but the addition of humectant reduces the water activity while retaining the moisture. Adding humectant to food enhances stability, maintain its texture and reduce microbial activity. Salt and sugar are the oldest. They are widely used as a humectant and other commonly used humectants are sorbitol, glycerol, propylene, glycol. So basically food that needs to be kept moist this potential bacterial growth. Moisture in food affects microbial activity, physical and sensory properties and possible chemical changes. Moisture in food can be controlled by removing it through dehydration or chemical binding in with humectant. Humectants can control moisture changes caused by humidity in fluctuation in processing, transit and storage on the shelf. Dry cereal with resins, candies with uh, liquid centers, cheese, coconuts, marshmallows and baked goods are the few examples of food that generally relies on the humectant. Humectants also used in military and space technology to allow, allow foods such as meat to be stored without refrigeration for the prolonged uh, period of time. Sugars and salts are the oldest and most widely used humectants. Uh, the other examples are glycerin, honey, sugar alcohol, uh, glucose syrup, egg yolk, egg bite, molasses and alpha hydroxy acids such as lactic acid. Uh, Treating food with humectant, the first one is blending, uh, second one is moist infusion and last one is dry infusion. First one is sorbitol. Sorbitol is, the, uh, is a sugar substituent. Uh, in nature, it occurs in food such as plum uh, production. Produ it generally produced uh, by the glucose uh, using enzymes. Uh, uses a uh, sugar uh, free food for diabetic patients and baked goods. Second one is uh, polydextrose. Polydextrose is a polysaccharide uh, that composed of dextrose that is glucose containing small amount of sorbitol and citric acid. Uh, it is generally used for the sugar and fat replacer in many food products. Uh, the uses of polydextrose, uh, it is generally used in baked goods, uh, cakes, then dessert mixer, dessert mixes, uh, gelatin, dessert sauces, uh, then pudding, uh, salad dressing, confectionery, chocolate, jam, cherries, dairy and ice cream. Uh, they have laxative effects. Next one is uh, glycerol. Glycerol is a compound that generally derives from the plant or animal, uh, animal's fat uh, that absorbs and holds onto moisture. The uses of glycerol uh, is a frequent addition to moisturizing lotion and skin creams. Uh, it also uh, preserves foods and it also used as a sugar substitute. There are the various uh, methods uh, which are used for the uh, treat food with humector uh, like uh, blending, moist infusion and dry infusion. The first one is blending. Blending in general involves the mixing the product with humectant solution and requires that the food product to be mixed or homogenized. Second one is moist infusion in that the food product is soaked in the humectant solution. And last one is dry infusion that involves first drying or dehydrating the product and then soaking into the humectant. Thank you. Uh, for the more video updates, uh, link is in the description. Kindly have a look. Uh, do follow our Telegram, Instagram and LinkedIn accounts for the daily updates and study material. Thank you. Have a good day.